penis might be some men's dream. But our next guest, Jonah Falcon, says it actually comes with some very large challenges. Uh, Jonah says that he's uh, often stopped in the street and has even been manhandled by airport security due to his suspicious package. <laughs> Now, according to the NHS, the average penis measures between five and seven inches when erect, but Jonah's, app Jonah's appendage measures a whopping 13 and a half inches. Mm. Now, I've got to admit, I'm not very good with inches, so I can't, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to look at my script and I was thinking, well, what, you work, what is... You work in metres? Well, I, I've got my calculators with me, so I do... Of course. Yeah, <laughs> welcome, to the, welcome to the show, by yeah. the way. <laughs> you know, this is just an ordinary day. Uh, for size comparison, uh, uh, what Jonah is packing uh, is the same as an in-length erect uh, an NTA. Oh, my uh, goodness! So that's, uh, that's... And an Academy Award, too, just so you know. And an Academy Award? Yeah, they're a 13 and a half as well. Are they really? Yes. Well, sadly, we don't have one of those. Um, Jonah's, Jonah is uh, with us now in the studio. So let's, uh, let, let, for anyone who's trying to picture this, well, let's get this uh, over and done and out of the way straight away. <laughs> so this is, this is the correct uh, length, erect, and the correct girth. Wow. Erect. That's about eight inches round, and there's your 13 and a half inches there. Um, so one of the bend, team in our gallery it? has just gone, oh my god. Yeah. So they, yeah, is just... that about right? I can, I can always check because of my hands. One, two, and yeah, pretty accurate. Yeah. See, so well, here's the thing. I never think of it like this. Well, I, you wouldn't. I, I think of it like this. One, two, three, and a bit. Right. Because each, this is exactly four inches. Okay. So I'm not, you know, 13 and a half is a bit, it's more like 13 point, uh, more than, a, more than a quarter, less than a half. Well, I mean, so. you, you are you, like a living emoji. <laughs> the thing is that, you know... At least I, it's not the pool This emoji. is our team, by the way, who said we've got to use all of this stuff. So this is the, oh, this is the length of it flaccid. So you are actually a living yeah. uh, oh, aubergine. Basically. Emoji. Uh, let me see that. Flaccid? That, flaccid. Yeah, well, flaccid. I'm not this thick at the end. No, <laughs> oh, right, OK, yeah. So we're not talking about girth there, we're just talking about length. To... Yeah, um, here's the thing. Uh, I look down. There's nothing special. You know, I don't compare it to objects. But then when I take out the ruler and it's like, oh, okay. Mm. The th but, so now we've got, we've got, we've got the, you know, the, the picture up? of, no, of the thing now. Um, oh, so I for can do you, uh, Oh, really? This is just for you, Philip. Oh, no, right, no, no, okay, no, yeah, oh, well, Lord. This is oh. just for you, <laughs> Philip. Just for us, okay, just for us. No, 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 so you don't have I mean, to use all that imagining. Right, okay. Necessary. I don't, like, oh, just. Just. <sighs> right, all right. Um, oh, oh my good fire! <laughs> so now you no longer have to compare it to these objects. <laughs> Congratulations! Oh, <laughs> well done. Well, here's the thing: class, oh, I'm all over the place. They, they have pictures, tons of me. All, I know. all I do is Google Jonah Falcon Vice, and you, it's like yeah. Well, let's uh, let, let's well, let's let's get into oh, let's get into the let's get into the the, you know, the way it affects your life because you do say that I mean you are an actor but you've never wanted to go into porn, no. um, and so do you think you know having something like this? Obviously, you know you've been on here a couple of times now, um, and well, uh, and uh, one, you, said, one of our iconic guests. A lot of people say, wow. but is there, it, are there are there areas here where you think uh, it's hampered me? Well, here's the thing. Uh, I'm going to talk about how the sausage is made, not my uh, the regular oh. Hollywood sausage. Right. Um, whenever you are put up for a role for large studio films, the studio has to approve you. Yeah. Right. And studios tend to be very conservative. So in order for me to do anything, it would have to be sort of like a, 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 an indie film, yeah. you know, where they don't care. As a matter of fact, I'm currently writing a script because people urge me to, and there's some people who say, well, we'll make it for you if you finish the script. So I have some motivation yeah. that helped destroy my writer's block. <laughs> right. I mean, you know, like we said, it could be some men's dream. But all I keep thinking is, you know, you're obviously used to having a, a big right. John Thomas, but does it ever get in the way? You know, if you've got a men be... whose names are actually John Thomas, oh. if they have to... Do you not call it that? No. Oh. I'm just thinking about oh. actual men no, whose no, names are John you're Thomas. Right. You're right, you're right, you're right. It's like, I'm just saying, this. my name is John Thomas. Right. And it's like they have to answer all sorts of questions. <laughs> <at them. laughs> but does it get, like, in your zipper? Uh, no. Um, in his laces. But um, I do have to... <laughs> I, I, a, some other men have this problem, but, you know, if the, the bowl water is too high, you know, you just have to prop it up a bit so it doesn't... Yeah. Uh, 
I actually, once or twice, I accidentally sat on it. <laughs> so it's like, ow. <laughs> you sat on it? Yeah. What, what about, what about, um, because you've said that, yeah. you know, people see you in the street, they know you now, they recognise you, and they'll, they they'll ask to that. see it, they, 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 you know, and that, you said 10,000 times people have asked to see it. Yeah. Um, what about actually falling in love with someone where it, it's just a part of you but not, you know, it doesn't define yeah. you? It's happened. Um, I won't say if it's happening now, but um, I've had, you know, people who... Actually, you know, it's sort of like it becomes a part of you and becomes a feature of you that they really enjoy, but it isn't the dominating part of that relationship. It's sort of like, um, well, I love you because of that, and it's really a great bonus, but... The rest of you I enjoy too. But haven't there been people, you know, I know you're bisexual, so it could be yeah. you know, sort of, it, 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 a nice wide scale. Right. Um, but there would be people who go, oh, God, when, if they didn't know you. Uh, no, sorry, that is daunting, it's frightening. Yeah. I've had that once, but they already knew. Here's the thing is that even when I don't, people, don't tell people, yeah. they sort of know already, yeah. no matter what I'm doing. It's sort of like the way I carry myself. It's sort of like, because here's the thing, um, it does grant a bit of, I'm not going to say confidence, but a lack of insecurity. Mm. You know, like, I don't have to worry about that. Sure. Right. I worry about money. I'm not worrying about this. So do you ever get worried that some women might stay or some men might stay with you because of the size of your John Thomas? Again, using money as an analogy, yeah. that's sort of akin to someone saying, do they just love me because I'm rich? Yeah. Mm. Um, I've never worried about that. Right. If it's a one-night stand, it's a one-night stand. That's it. <laughs> you know, and, and it has essentially, you know, occasionally got you into trouble in airport security. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, once I had it hanging, you know, just had it strapped, not strapped, but, you know, it was just uh, down the part, you know, halfway to my leg. And um, it's sort of like they asked me if I was... First, <laughs> the first funny thing they said is, do you have a tumour? I said, no. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think would be the... Someone's first first thought. Yeah. You know, if they saw. So, do you have to wear normal underwear, or do you have to buy special? I wear normal stuff? underwear. Um, oh. I've learned if I'm going to go through security and thing to sort of ball it up a bit, so it looks like a round mass rather than you know. So it's malleable. Ball it. I'm not malleable. <laughs> and God help me if I get an erection if I do that. <laughs> um, no, it's also um, I'm going to have to say this. My testicles are proportionately as large, so. Oh, they're both big. Yes. Um, oh. Which, well, that's handy, I suppose, yeah. isn't it? Because that. Well, no, because that creates more of a bulge. Yeah, right. Okay. Right. Yeah. Um, have, has there ever been a? Has there ever been? I think we're doing very well. By yeah, the way. me too. Um, yeah. Has there ever been a moment where you thought, "I wish I wasn't like this"? No, um, and not because it's big, but because I, I am who I am, and I, I just wouldn't want to be different. In which case, let me put it another way. Have people got preconceived ideas of who you are as a person? Oh, definitely. And um, how do they see you? For one thing, um, people who think who know that you are super well endowed, they think you're less intelligent. As a matter of fact, you can read a lot of books, like Kurt Vonnegut, um, Billy Crow Pilgrim was supposed to be horse, hung like a horse, but Kurt Vonnegut also he's kind of stupid, <laughs> you know. So they, they have that. Um, they also think that I am sexually a clod, that I'm one... It's like, get out of the way, here I come. No. As a matter of fact, um, I'm going to say this. Sexually, I use my mouth a lot. Right. I use my mouth a lot. What I a need... waste. That, um... I'm going to say, just, you know, I'm going to say something right here, very erogenous. Yeah. You know? oh. Don't tell me you've well. got enormous nipples as well. No, no, no. Okay. I'm talking about them. I no. mean, my mouth. Oh. And, oh, by the way, um, I'm not Gene Simmons. My tongue is normal sized. Right. So. Oh, okay. Well, that might explain why you, you I mean, you've had a few Hollywood partners. I know you're not allowed to say who yeah. they are, but um, you get that a lot. Oscar nominees and Oscar winners, you've said. Well, mm. yeah, here's the thing. Uh, a large majority are just very well known. They're not necessarily Hollywood. Right. As a matter of fact, a good chunk of them come from the British Isles, so... Um, but... Ooh. They contact you? What do they contact you? Friends of friends, I mean, you know... But isn't that all a bit hollow and a bit sad? Are you thinking, right, OK, they're, they're contacting actually, you purely but to check it out? Uh, here's the thing. It's actually normal for a lot of people and it doesn't always have to do with that. It's whatever 
features. Oh, he's really. Oh, you should see his. Oh, actually, I like. Here's the thing. A lot of people when they're with me, they when I when I start making out with them, they start focusing on my eyes because they're very green. Yeah. Right. So that sort of like takes over, you know. And it's also something I can show off in public. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's always a that's always um, a good thing. But no, it's it's normal. There I mean, is a there is a man, Roberto uh, Esquinal Cabrera, right. who's a Mexican, and he claims he's got 18.9 inches. Well, he has a foreskin that is 13 inches. Because um, here's the thing, um, I saw the CAT scan and I talked to a tabloid, I'm not sure if it was The Sun, I think it was The Sun who saw it and he said it was absolutely gross. How do you know that? Well, here's the thing, the CAT scan is easily, is easily seen and you can see that he's actually normal and he just, oh. a lot of, he ritually stretched his foreskin since he was, uh, since he was a teenager. Why? Like, okay. Like, oh, a, well. like a polar neck. I, yeah. I don't want to know the details. No, neither do I. Well, Jonah. Um, um, Jonah, amazing. Uh, it's always a pleasure to have you on here. Yes. It's always absolutely fascinating. You stop, uh, stop everybody in yeah. their in their tracks. Um, yeah. um, we wish you well. Thank you. Have you have you found love? Have you got someone who really loves you? Um, For you? Maybe. <laughs> oh, That's, brilliant. There's a maybe there. Good. Oh, brilliant. Here's the thing. Um, LDR. LDR. What Long distance relationship. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Well, that's all right because you've got. Yeah. No, yeah. not. <laughs> I'm not that big. <laughs> I couldn't walk if I was there. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank Jenna, you very you're much so indeed. sweet. Thank, thank you, you for coming on. Thank